My name is Alex. Um, I'm from Fall River, Nova Scotia. I was first diagnosed with Pompe disease when I was 23 years old, and I'm 26 now. So what led up to me being diagnosed with Pompe disease uh, was my chronic fatigue. I was constantly tired, unable to go through the day without a nap, um, and I was experiencing severe muscle weakness to the point where my abdominal muscles and my hip flexors pretty much weren't functioning anywhere close to normal. It was definitely something um, unusual. I was a really competitive cheerleader for the majority of my youth, and I was noticing that things that other girls were able to do with ease, I was no longer able to do at all, and it was really frustrating. I received treatment about uh, roughly six months after I was diagnosed. My life has improved drastically after the treatment. The level of fatigue has gone down immensely. I no longer need a nap to get through the day. Um, my muscles all around have been better. I've been able to get back to kind of a more regular routine because of the access to treatment. But I've actually been able to go away to school. I'm able to direct a summer camp, which is pretty amazing. Early access to uh, medication and treatment improves my prognosis tenfold. Um, so my disease is a progressive disease. So I essentially it will just continue to deteriorate my body, my muscle weakness will increase, um, and the things that I'll be able to do will lessen. So having this treatment early means that my muscles are going to be able to stay as strong as they can for much longer than they would have without treatment. One of the most crucial parts of having a rare disease is the early access because it really does determine um, kind of your quality of life from there on out. So having a rare disease after being a competitive athlete is something that's really, um, it's unfortunate and it's something that kind of tugs at your heartstrings because of my disease I had to stop competitive cheerleading at the level that I was at. Um, but because of the treatment and the access I am still involved and I do still coach and I can still play around with my friends a little bit.